Okay guys, uh, worksheet 11, uh, last demo we gotta do for this worksheet is we're gonna measure the valve guide and valve stem and check the clearance between it. And typically uh, in the lab, you guys would pretty much likely do uh, this particular cylinder head. Of course, uh, not able to do that right now, but you guys would be able to take all these off and measure the intake and exhaust uh, valve stem and the guide to get the clearance between it. So what we're gonna do basically is I'm gonna take the valve spin compressor, uh, kind of get this on there, uh, take the valve off, we're gonna mic it. We're gonna mic it with a micrometer and then on the inside diameter where the guide is, we're gonna use our hole gauges. These are what the hole gauges look like right here. So uh, we'll get, uh, get this thing going here. I'm gonna do the exhaust valve here. So see my valve spin compressor tool, kind of come in here. I already have adjusted it, so it should work out pretty good. Take the keepers off, like so. Put that aside. Take my exhaust valve off, which I have here. Take the micrometer, and we're going to go on the inside right here on uh, the middle part where the valve uh, stem on this one is going to rest and ride on the guide. So I'm typically going to put it in there. Okay, and my measurement is showing to be at 0 0.341 thousandths. Okay, so this thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my uh, hole gauge here. I'm gonna go on the same end as I took the valve off. Okay, get my micrometer out. Okay, that's good, just to a snug tight, don't go over tighten it there. And I've got 0.3414, okay? So I've got four thousandths, four ten thousandths more on the guide side. So if I do the math on it, and I've got the, you're gonna take your, your guide measurement minus your valve stem measurement, and that'll give you your valve guide clearance. So the difference on that one is gonna be four ten thousandths. So it's four ten thousandths the difference between the, the valve, the exhaust valve on this particular valve here versus what's on the guide. And that's how you would do your valve guide clearance. You have four ten thousandths on this particular uh, exhaust valve. So you would do them all just to make sure and see where you're at. And of course you're gonna compare it to specifications and see uh, if there's any uh, valve guide replacement or knurling of the valve that you have to do in order to uh, uh, to fix your situation. Now, what will happen is you'll have a rough idle, one, and plus you'll be losing some oil uh, if your valve guide has excessive wear. But then we're gonna recognize that on our um, vacuum gauge because if we have any valve guide wear, we're gonna have that needle fluctuating, fluctuating, and as we give it throttle and we increase it, it's gonna steady. And then when you let off on the gas, it's gonna go back and do this again on the gauge. So. That pretty much indicates in the case that we got a problem with a valve guide. So that's how you do this particular one. Uh, that was the last demo for uh, worksheet 11. I'll be doing uh, worksheet 12 uh, demonstrations pretty quickly. All right, y'all be careful and take, be safe out there.